I'm going to show you a demonstration of muscle testing. This is a procedure where you get information from the body. You can find out what is wrong with the various organs or locations throughout the whole body. And it's very simple, it's very fast, it's non-invasive. And this is what I've been doing with my patients every single day since 1998. And it's a fantastic uh, tool for measurement and assessment. And we just apply this along with lab work, of course, a really good history and signs and symptoms and talking to the patient and looking at lifestyle choices. And we put all this together. But I want to show you what muscle testing is so you are familiar with it when you come to the office. So the principle of muscle testing has to do with the electricity of our bodies. We have energy, you know, think of like acupuncture or um, chi or a light detector test. And here is a, a stick that can demonstrate this. Okay, so I grab onto one side, and you can see it's metallic over here. Grab on the other side, and it lights up the stick. So that means that I have electricity and I'm completing the circuit. So with Michaela, hold this with your left hand. Yeah, so she's got that, and I have this end. Then hold your arm up like this. Yeah, so I just touch her. There you go, like that. So there's a circuit, just think of the word circle, circuit, we're completing the circuit. And then with the muscle testing procedure, it looks like this, so hold your arm up. And then I push on her arm, and then I'm contacting different parts of her body, like her leg, for example, and I push on her arm. And if something's wrong with her leg or the leg muscle, the arm will go weak because I'm breaking the circuit. There's a problem there, and the body's telling us that there's a problem there by the arm going weak. And we're using the deltoid muscle as an indicator. It's telling us yes or no, if you will. So yes is strong, no is weak. That's kind of the general rule. It, that's not always a true statement. Um, the arm will be weak or, or stay strong depending on what we're testing and how we're testing it. So this is what we call a strong arm. So I'm pushing on the arm and her deltoid is locked. It's not moving. And I can push really hard and it's still strong. And then, um, then I can add something into her field, such as uh, a supplement that her body doesn't want. So let me grab a supplement. And I'm guessing that this supplement is a product that her body doesn't like. So she can hold this and hold it here. So this is a legitimate test. I don't know if her arm's gonna be weak or strong. And here we go. And that's weak. So I know her body doesn't like it. Let me go a little bit into more detail about this actual procedure. So the nervous system is really what we're testing. Even though we call this muscle testing, we're only testing the deltoid muscle, but we're really testing how well the nervous system is telling that muscle to be strong. So when I push down, her nervous system is saying to this muscle, be strong. And then um, we can uh, you know, add a, a product or a vial of uh, liquid, for example, and then the arm go weak like you just saw, or we can touch different parts of the body. Okay, so with your left hand, now we're gonna show you a test, just it's practice. Okay, so with her left hand, she's gonna go right here, and this is positive and this is negative electrically, and there's a lot of energy right there. So I'm gonna push down on her arm, and it's weak, and then she flips it around to the other side. Okay, and that's strong. Let's do it one more time. So front of the finger, a little bit lower, Good, match me. And then back of the finger, and then match me. So that's practice. One was weak, one was strong, and that's how that goes. So you heard me say the word match me. What that means is when I push down 10 pounds, for example, she pushes up 10 pounds. So we're not arm wrestling. This isn't wrestling at all in any way. This is a test of the nervous system. So if you're pushing too hard against the practitioner, hold your arm up push too hard against me. I can let go and her arm pops up like this. Or, okay, go ahead, push against me too much. And then, and then I can do this, and one of these should be weak, but she's just fighting me. You could possibly overcome the actual procedure, the muscle testing procedure, by being too strong um, uh, consciously. So sometimes this happens, but you know, after a few rounds of practice, it's pretty easy to get this as a patient so that your practitioner can get good answers from this procedure. See, these are samples of vials that we use for the testing. Now, on this side, we have the bad vials. These are problems like 
heavy metals, parasites, chemicals. And on this side, these are solutions. These are supplements that clean the heavy metals out or they help get the body get rid of parasites, etc. So your practitioner might grab three of these or five of these, for example. So you can just grab five. And these five have to do with um, Lyme organisms. These are organisms that live inside the cells. So, so then she holds her arm up and then I just scan. So I go to the leg muscle, the stomach, the heart, thyroid, brain, lymphatic system, adrenals, kidneys. That's a very quick scan right there. And it gives me uh, a really good idea that her body is not all stressed out from Lyme organisms. These, you know, bugs that live inside the cells. So I can go through the rest of these and just get an idea. What about heavy metals and chemicals, parasites, uh, bacteria, mold, candida. And I get this um, general idea at the beginning, but as time goes on, I can get really specific and find a particular problem. For example, inside the gallbladder, which is right here, or inside the stomach. And we can get very specific to all the different locations of where the organs are. If you have some sinus problems, I can test right there at these exactly where your pain is. Or maybe if your ear is congested, right there at the ear. And so any symptoms that you have, make sure you tell your practitioner and we need the location. So if you have knee pain, we want to know exactly where that knee pain is. Is it in the front? Is it in the behind the knee? Or if you have sinus pain or pressure, where exactly is it? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Is it where exactly is it? So that we can test that area. It's like geography, like it's anatomical. It's very important to know the location. Another example of this would be anxiety. People say, oh, I have anxiety. And my question is, where is it? Because sometimes it's in the stomach. Most of the time it's in the chest. Sometimes it's here. Sometimes it's in the back of the neck. Um, anxiety is like a tightening feeling or a lack of circulation. And then this emotion that's there. There's usually a location for the anxiety. That's just a, a, an example. But any kind of numbness, pain, ache, uh, brain problems, brain fatigue. People have brain fatigue in the front or in the eyes or in the back. Again, location really matters. I'm teaching them how to be a good patient. No, that's really, really good. Seriously. <laughs> okay, so wait, do you think you have something that might show up? Yeah. What might that be? So chemicals or glyphosate? Glyphosate or chemicals? Okay. So here's glyphosate and uh, this vial is a energetic resonance of the chemical known as glyphosate or there's a, it's a collection of glyphosates. So I'm going to scan like uh, muscle, uh, pelvis, abdomen, stomach, lungs, heart right there. So at the side of the heart, maybe that's lymphatic system. Here's lymphatic. It's in your lymphatic system. So there's a lot of lymph nodes underneath the armpit. Okay, here's thyroid and tonsils, jaw, sinuses, eyes, brain, ears, neck. How about spine? Okay, so stand here and then turn around and all the way. This arm up. So I'm going to test glyphosate at the adrenals, kidney, bladder. Turn back around. Hold your arm up. I'm finding this in the lymphatic system right there. Okay, and this is clinically relevant. And when, when we get this out, she'll feel better. And what symptoms are caused by this glyphosate? Sometimes it's hard to tell. We're not treating symptoms. We use them as an indicator as to progress or like as a window to get into the body to figure it out. So next I'm going to find a solution for glyphosate. So I'm going to go to this side here and there's several options and there's one in particular that I think might work because it works quite often. It's designed to get glyphosate out of the body. Now I have the problem and the solution together and I put that in it and it cancels out the weakness and her arm is now strong on both sides. So this just to repeat this, I'm going to take away the solution and now we just have the problem and that's weak. And then I add the solution back in and then it becomes strong again like that. If you notice as her arm goes down, it's, she's very easy to test. And so this arm just collapses like that. And a lot of patients, their arm works like that, but not always. Sometimes the arm, uh, give me some strength. 
sometimes sometimes the arm goes down, but it needs a little bit more force and it goes down slower. Like that. Hold your arm up. And then give me some ratchet. Sometimes the arm like wobbles like this. Wobble, 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 and then it, and then it goes down. Um, sometimes the arm is strong, but yet they're they lose balance. So this happens rarely, but here we go. Like that. So sometimes and that's rare, but there's different ways that the arm goes weak. It's not always just a simple collapse, just to let you know. So don't freak out when you're in the room with the uh, practitioner thinking that you're doing it wrong. They will coach you through this. Now you've seen me test her sitting and standing, and oftentimes we'll test people laying down. Okay, so she's gonna lay down like this, and then hold your arm up, and then I'll stand like right here, and I'm testing, here's the leg muscle, and every time I touch, I push on the arm, pushing this way, like that. So I can grab some vials and test like this. Okay, so that's how we test, we do a sitting, standing, or laying down. Okay, just to summarize, muscle testing is this biofeedback procedure where we're getting information from the body, that's the bio part. And then the feedback means it's telling us what's wrong. It can tell us what's in the body that needs to come out. It can tell us what organs need nutrition. It'll tell us what supplements are the best. And we can even test foods, you know, some food allergies. We can test cosmetics. We can test body care products, soaps and deodorants and stuff like that. So you can bring that stuff in. And keep in mind, it's just a tool. It's one of our favorites. We run a lot of lab work. It's super important to have a really good history. Make sure you have your whole timeline of events in your head straight. So like if you had an accident five years ago and then you started to get sick after that, we need to know that timeline history. If you had an exposure to uh, a chemical toxin 10 years ago, you have to remember that kind of stuff, like what caused your initial concerns. And then we go from that point forward in time and we're looking at all the problems that occurred after that. And then we start detoxing that chemical out and we can see those symptoms start to go away. Okay, the last thing I want to say is that there's basically 10 reasons why people are sick. On this hand, we got five types of organisms. Parasites, virus, mold, candida, fungus, bacteria, and then Lyme disease, organisms inside the cells. On this hand, we have three toxins, metals, chemicals, radiation. And then here we have lack of drainage, meaning the liver, uh, lymphatic system, kidneys are not working well the organs that clean the body out, sinuses, lungs, skin, these cleaning organs need to work well. So lack of drainage. And then the last one is pure um, sugar toxicity, excessive sugar metabolism, or lack of ketosis. So those are the 10 main reasons why people get ill. Keep those in mind when you talk to us. Okay, good. What should I add? Nothing. I don't know. Okay, really I'm, I'm, I'm going to say one more thing. And you're smiling? I've been looking at you, yeah, and smiling okay, the good. whole time. Yeah? All right, good. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you at your next visit.